Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you through linking your Amazon Web Services account to your Redline account so you can begin load testing. Now this is probably the first thing that you want to do upon registering with Redline as you need an Amazon Web Services account to run load tests. So you're first going to want to head and go register with Redline and also then set up an Amazon Web Services account. Both of those processes are fairly simple and I'll provide links to do so down below. Upon registering for both accounts, we're going to want to head and log into our Redline account. Now I've already done so, but once we're logged in, we're going to want to navigate to AWS Keys and then go to the AWS Keys again in the drop down tab. Now here on this page is where we want to uh, register our keys, but to do so we first have to generate some keys. And by doing that, we're going to need to navigate to our Amazon Web Service Management Console. So we'll just quickly go ahead and sign into our console. And once we're inside, we're going to want to navigate to security and identity and to the IAM. Now from here is where we're going to set up our keys for our Redline account. Now that we're, the, we're in the identity and access management console, we want to go ahead and generate some keys for us. So this begins by creating a new policy. So we're going to go over here on the left hand side and click policy and then we're going to want to create a new policy. So we're down here we're going to go to create your own and now we can name this whatever we want but to keep it smart let's call it redline access and the description we can just keep it the same or if you want to make a note go ahead. Um, now for our policy documentation, you're going to want to have to copy our policy, which could be found uh, in the links down below. But this is pretty straightforward of copying this IAM policy over and then just hitting create policy. It'll say working and then there we go. We're good. Now the second part of this is we want to create a new role to go along with our policy. So on the left hand side, we'll click roles and create new role. Now to keep it consistent, we'll name it the same thing as our policy and hit next. And now we're going to select the role type. Now this is very important. We're going to want to go down here and hit role for cross account access. And we want to select this option, provide access between your AWS account and a third party AWS account. So we'll go ahead and hit select. Now we need to enter our account ID and our external ID. Our account ID can be found on the same page that you found the IAM policy. So we'll just go ahead and copy that on over and paste it in here. Now the external ID is a unique ID to everyone's own Redline account. So go back to your where you're logged in in Redline and again go to your AWS keys and you'll find your unique external ID right here. So we're just going to go ahead and simply copy that over as well. And then we're just going to hit next. Now we need to attach this role to a policy. So we'll, let's search for the policy that we created. We'll check the box and hit next step. Review everything that it looks good and we're going to hit create role. Now that we have our newly created policy and role, we can finally link our AWS account to our Redline account. So under our newly created role, we're going to want to head and open it up. And we want to copy this role ARN. Then we're going to go back into our Redline account and under the AWS keys section, we can drop the role ARN right down there. We'll name it the same to keep it access and We'll hit add key pair. Now we've added the keys to our account, but we're not done just yet. In order to ensure that everything has been set up correctly, we can go ahead and hit validate policy right here. Once we get all green check marks, we know that everything has been set up correctly and we can finally begin our load tests.